Hi to you all fellows, my name is Paul Rudner and today is a very special day because I'm starting a channel and all this good stuff, you know, always, always nice to start something new, right? But there's one important thing, <laughs> more important than me starting a channel, and it is a game that we're going to play today. This game is called Valley, and it is an indie adventure exploration game. I haven't uh, like played a lot of this type, this type of games, uh, and I don't know really much about it. I just I accidentally hit my mic, but never mind. But. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it, okay? Uh, so I don't want to spend any more of your time, so let's start it. <laughs> the music is really nice, and I saw like uh, screenshots of that game before on Steam, of course, before buying it. And it looks just on on the screenshots. It looks really good, like insanely good. Okay, the life seat is set to contain an incredible earth-shattering power. While mostly written off as a myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item, luring some to incredibly remote locations. Okay. Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. Mm, thank Still you. I can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the what was it? The life seed? Oh, so God, I'm looking admit, for a that life sounds seed. Sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, nice I know you head, want to prove the, the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. <laughs> Even trade okay. in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons <laughs> pay off. Oh, God. Indiana Jones references, huh? Nice start. Blue Isle Studios. Never heard about you guys before. But cons considering the look of this game, I I hope I'll hear about you more in the future. Okay, remote region, Canadian Rockies. Never been to Canada. Useless discount canoeing lessons. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and we broke our radio. Mm, always good to know about it. Don't don't you want to take something? Okay. Like we're in some kind of cave. Okay. Ruins, cave drawings. Where the hell am I? I wish I knew. I guess it's the Canadian Rockies. Don't have anything else to say. Ooh. Unity, huh? Yeah. It's worth mentioning that this game was made on the Unity engine, so... And... As you might know, that if you, like, use the Unity properly, it will look really, really good. And that's what I mean by really good. Okay, uh, uh huh. What is this? Is this some kind of like trees, spores? I guess. Huh? 
glowing tree spores. Okay, nice. I, I need to be closer to my mic. We're on to a flying start, huh? Who are these? Is this some kind of spirits of the world? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that sound? What is this place? Yeah. How hard did I hit my head? Yeah. I, I keep thinking about it all the way. <laughs> Have you seen his face? <laughs> oh. <laughs> These are funny. And the noises. Meow meow. Like meow. Like a cat. I love that. Mm. Use army truck. Must have crashed there ages ago. Okay, I guess. Uh, what crate actually actually opens like this? Leaf suit. Did I acquire a tutorializing videotape? Pendulum. Pathfinder. You will be tasked with operating and testing the newly developed leaf suit as our hardworking scientists at Pendulum develop new ways to empower our troops fighting the war in Europe. War in Europe? What? Okay, some kind of crisis suit. Okay, exercises. really important. Yeah, amazing is... Cool, leaf suit, huh? Yeah, I thought that in a moment before. Okay, so it's some kind of crisis-like suit. Virginia King, audio journal, June 4th, 1941. From 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley. Just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth shattering power, was found. So it was found. That Back in 1941. Okay, so I'm already getting like vibes of. Oh my god, what's wrong with my chair? Okay, like I'm, I'm getting like vibes of. I don't know. Be Bioshock. Wolfenstein and a bit of Fallout combined right now. Okay, always good, always nice to have, but manipulating life and death, huh? The Northeast Dick site, uh, not from Virginia, again, October 5th. Am I supposed to be concerned about this sign? S -s -s sign, sound. Not from Virginia King, October 15th, 1944. The, the Northeast Dick site is providing a number of clues towards the stone cutting 
techniques of the ancient inhabitants. The pathfinders assigned to exploring the site have uncovered a wide array of tools that may have been used. With any luck, we can attempt to reproduce the mythology. What's wrong with this wind? Uh, sorry, guys. BRB. Okay, I'm back. Let's just... Excuse me for that cut, okay, but... The mouse sensitivity was killing me. It's like a spit of bullet. Handy. Okay, some kind of bunker. Am I supposed to go there? Is that a... Oh. It's like excavation site there. No, I guess not. Run down slopes to gain momentum to jump higher and further. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you can run even faster than this? <laughs> wow, just... Oh, I love it already. <clears throat> that was... That was incredible. Really. I, I thought this suit is kind of like a... AKA crisis suit in a way. But it is much, much stronger than this. Energy stored within the leaf suit, known as Amrita. Amrita, okay, I'll remember that. Can be given to once living things. So, like this? It was said that this suit was was developed to like help help fighting the war. You don't have the war if you have a power like this. It's like you can. You can give back life to your soldiers every time they die. How cool is that? It's like... Okay, I... I understand that it's like some kind of different alternative reality. Oh, these things again. Touch an orb to absorb its energy. Oh, so these are energy orbs for the suit. Okay. What was there? Nothing? Hmm. Worth mentioning? There we go again! <laughs> wow. Just wow. I, I don't need that much energy. I can re What was that? An acorn? Collect enough acorns to gain access through certain ancient doorways. That sounds silly. Okay. I'm collecting acorns now. It was an acorn. I need an acorn. I want it. Yes! Give me them acorns. Okay. Search for the life seat near the dig site. I'm going for it! Oh, Wait, what? Wait, wait a second, I need to, to check something out. Whoop. Oh! Oh, so if I... If I don't jump... I am able to, like, jump into the air like a double jump. Cool. 
would be handy. Lead can also be taken from nearby living things. Rich in energy such as a tree or an animal to replenish your suit. Less robust life forms such as blade of blades of grass provide no value. So you can not only give life to things, but also you can like take it away from them. So as I said, the war will be over in like a month. I guess I need to check out. Who have I killed? And where is he? Oh, that's a bun bun! Die, die, bun bun! But no, I, I can't. It's kind of sad, so I'll I'll revive you. Oh, you're so cutie. Yeah, run away. Guess I scared you when I took your life away. But okay, I get your environmental message. Why, you, like? Giving life and getting life away, but why do I need to like keeping things alive? Okay, some kind of that's I, I assume that's the dig site. What are these? Is this some kind of energy? And I can't get it. Okay, so it's like I need to revive it? Oh, yeah. Seems like this fireflies reactor energy. Oh, these are fireflies, huh? Okay. As strange as everything in this place. The army calls this valley Area 634. Area 634. But I described a new word for it. Sussurus. Of that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make it ancient inhabitants officially known as Sasurians. Sasurians. So, so these are Sasurians? Did they predate any known civilization on the continent? They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? Yeah, how? So I need to like revive these to open doors. Okay, that's pretty simple. Do we have something here? No. Well, okay, okay. I'm all in it. Give me something. To open crates. Oh, so I need something to like get. Energy capacity is increased with capacitor upgrades. Find four to complete an energy canister. So, I can upgrade my suit. That's nice. Collectibles. Okay. Not from a pathfinder. I could watch these sprites all day. Yeah, I can too. These are cute. As hell. I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We aren't natural predators to them at all. I don't know. I'm I'm not a biologist or something. I don't know who like I'm not a I'm not a biologist, I mean, but I don't know if like human Oh, I, I got a, a new canister, nice. Uh, I don't know if human is actually a natural predator to someone. So do these do these even have natural predators? Okay. Two. Where's the third? Oh, I guess there is the third one. Luckily for me, the military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers Pathfinders. Okay, they can trek pathfinders? through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is going to enjoy riding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. Is this an acorn? I guess the world will have to wait just what a bit this? longer to get their hands on these rides. These medallions are said to be used to assist an ancient pyramid. Collect enough 
pieces to gain entry to his chambers. Whoa, man. This game has a lot of collectibles. I love it. I, I love collectibles in games so much because these are fine. These are really fun to find. Like, I don't know. It's fun to, like, open something that uh, not everybody in the game did. Use falling momentum to break through cracked surfaces, okay? But I wanna go there, I wanna explore. Exploration always pays off. Acorn, medallion, acorn, acorn, okay. Damn, I have a lot of acorns. I can build a home of these ones. Of these nuts. I didn't know I'm getting on a ride. To the load screen. Okay. Soldiers pilot in leaf suits leap if forcefully through the air functionality are known as pathfinders their ability to manipulate life with running speeds up to 110 kilometers per hour make them a deadly addition to the battlefield yeah this is it's like i don't know if these are more powerful than a tank because it's like the tank is not a living thing but i guess you know what are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over these energy containers beautiful they seem well, to grow randomly throughout the valley grow I know nothing about them other are these than that they're indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project that's about as much as they'll tell me <sighs> such a shame I wish they would just let them be. But I suppose it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. For the glowing orbs? I don't know, but it seems like uh, a life seed is actually more more important than the energy source. Okay, I wait. I wanted to check out what was underwater. Leaf suits are very heavy equipment. This makes water incredibly dangerous. Thank you for saying it after my fucking death. Asshole. Okay, so. Has a problem with water. It's like in the fucking Vice City. But. It's actually reasonable. These are heavy, but serious belly. Oh. A medallion. How many medallions or acorns do I need to get somewhere? Okay, so I need so I I am changing the environment, reliving the trees and all this stuff just for acorns. Oh. The game is absolutely beautiful. It's made really really nice. And the water like looks really good. What? Fuck! I died twice. I died twice on the tutorial because I see it seems like a tutorial. The leaf suit's quantum death functionality allows the user to return to life after dying. They even explained that. Oh, nice. Okay. And what? What's with it? Fucking hell! But life must be traded for life. 
The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it's fully deadened. Without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. So... Oh... Okay... Oh, yes! You have, a, like, a life meter of... Like, an energy. And I... Yeah, it replenishes when I give life back to trees. So... Not, not only trees, to all the living things. So... That's why I need to keep them alive. I, I have a lot of damn acorns. A shit ton of them. They're, like, dropping from every tree there is. These collectibles are not as rare as I thought they... What? Oh, so... Oh, that's handy! I can take life from these as well. Like, I'm not taking life from them. I'm, like, taking energy. This giant tree? It's a normal tree. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. It's it's not as as big. It's just a normal Once tree. Every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed life seed. Said oh, so these are produced by this tree? Into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. Whoa. That's a big hole. Ha <laughs> ha. But yeah, it's, is it is it a rabbit hole? <laughs> okay. What's in there? Not from Virginia King. Sacred trees are common in mythologies around the world, typically acting as a symbols of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts, such as the World Tree Yggdrasil of Norse mythology, which provided a map for the composition of the universe, acting as a link between heaven, earth, and the underworld. But more recently in Christian belief, the Tree of Life represents the immaculate state of humanity, before its exposure to original sin causing its fall. Well, I like the Norse story more. Yggdrasil, huh? Not from a Pathfinder. Those acorn doors are pretty neat. I haven't seen any yet. Captain Hall ordered us to collect enough acorns to open all the passageways in Sector 3. I'm about halfway there. <laughs> collect enough acorns. <laughs> Fuck. You know why this sounds silly to me? It sounds silly to me because... Uh, it reminds me of uh, a game... Oh, so... These are like obelisks she was talking about. Okay, so I need to get to them. It reminds me of a game that I played a long, 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 long time ago in my childhood, which was called Ice Age 2. And guess what? You played as a scrat, and you also collect needed. To collect a lot of acorns. <laughs> That's a strange and funny connection to make, isn't it? Yeah. So many pets. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, I'm overreacting there, but I don't want to die. I don't know where it's where it will resort me. A medallion. There's something, something there. Oh, I guess, I guess not. Revive the tree. I've seen that acorn, but I'm not gonna. And that acorn, I'm not gonna go to them because they're just everywhere. This day, me. What? This looks terrifying. Oh, so these sprites are not 
the inhabitants. Mesoamerican. With their renowned colossal headstone sculptures dating back to 900 BC. You mean like these monoliths? The old Olmec civilization was a little similar. Located no less than 5,000 kilometers away from here. Okay. Some kind of. Some kind of black sword. Revive. Well, now this tree is fucking giant. Oh, so I I like regrow its roots, so it makes like it grows bigger every time I regrow the roots. Okay, it's a nice nice thing to know. Nice. Okay. I'm always so worried to like fall off and die. I don't know why because it's it's like doesn't have much effect, but I want to die. What is this? Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here Very good game very good. It's like It just gets you in Right like spots if, if you're an adventure lover like I Assume everyone is an adventure lover uh, But if you like this kind of games like exploration games not action games or something it's a bit action but not as much as like sh some shooters it's very atmospheric and it has a very good really good sound effects pretty pretty, pretty good uh, really good visuals for an indie game it's it's like the highest level I've ever seen one of the highest levels I've ever seen and uh, the music, well, you heard it. It's really good. It's the composer, the musician really like made a good job right there. So if you want, wait for the next episode. It's gonna be out soon, I promise. <laughs> and I'm gonna be waiting for you in the next video. See ya!